This is an aeropress. It uses water, grounds, pressure and time to brew and extract the most beautiful cup of coffee. There are five parameters to brew a coffee in this equipment. Water, water temperature, grind size, ratio and coffee. In theory, the method is simple. Combine hot water with coffee grounds, stir and just press. That's all it is. Pour, stir, press. It's a simple machine at the end of the day. But this coffee, if you don't know how to make, is gonna taste like shit. Now you trail back and ask at this point, how can I make coffee that is not shit in this plastic machine? How can I make the best coffee I've ever had? The water that goes into the barrel, how hot it should be, how fast should I pour it, what pattern should I pour it in, how much should I pour, when should I pause or stop altogether. And this is just water. We haven't talked about stirring, agitation, pressing and rest of all the moves. Pour, stir, press. It's a simple machine at the end of the day. But it is also insanely complicated. And I won the first ever championship in it. And this is that story. So, so I came back to India and uh, boom, there was like an Aeropress championship I got to know. And uh, I was in Bombay that time for a meeting, I remember. Honestly, I was not going to compete. I, I did not really take this to be as serious initially for like a couple of hours or so. But then uh, after that, I'm like, okay, let's just give it a shot. Let's just, let's just go. So I went to the uh, regional. So it's like regional. Each region has got their own championship, like Southeast, West, North. So it was in Bombay and that was the best region so i came third in that time in that competition and i was like cool about it fine i'm qualified for the nationals that's about it the nationals were like in bangalore after i guess a, guess a month and a half later and funny story what happened was uh, i came back to my hometown Nagpur, and then i received the coffee sample of so whenever you qualify for the nationals everybody was qualified for the nationals and the finals or whatever so you receive a coffee bag Right, just for you to try, just for you to figure out what is to be done and all. So I remember that day so clearly. I received the consignment and I opened up. And so imagine a guy freshly from Specialty Coffee Australia and you know on a jazz first crack and least development time and light roasted coffee, blah blah blah. And then I opened this bag and you know it was as dark as this. Like if you can't see, like it, it was as dark, maybe a little bit more darker with oil around that was like i probably saw the third crack in coffee for the first time in my life and i saw this coffee and i go back to all everything flashes i'm like is india still there like we are, are we still roasting this dark i was like furious I was angry i'm like what is this hey oh this and that i remember my mom saying what is wrong with you why are you so upset about it like it's their way of roasting and all whatever something is there and i was like no this is not what it is it has to be first crack it has to be lightly roasted blah blah then i calm down after 15 20 minutes or maybe an hour i don't know how many hours and it just clicked me like uh, i think they've sent kind of a i don't want to call it a bad coffee but uh, they've sent a super dark roasted coffee which is going to taste this bitter and they want you to just give it a shot and see who can brew the least bitter coffee that was all about it is what it clicked me it's because giving easy coffee to everybody won't be making like a easier competitor. I mean everybody will be, be making good coffee but by giving bad coffee bad raw material how I mean again I said bad but okay yeah so I got that coffee and I it clicked and I was like okay let's do one thing let's just go and brew it and I brewed it first time I had a sip uh, the most obnoxious coffee I must have had and then it clicked that if we do a little bit of magic in this legal magic of course so if we do a little bit magic in this and tweak the recipe a little bit I think you can extract a little bit of sweetness out of this dark roasted third crack most bitter most darkest coffee in this world so I tried that and the moment I tried that and I had a sip I was like all right fine if this is something that nobody's going to do, I have got a great chance to win. So India's first Aeropress champion, you know. So that was something which was, it rang a bell. Now come Bangalore National. So my friend was already in town, a very close friend of mine, with whom I have played badminton and we've been in the team and he knows how competitive and how I 
take things when it comes to sports and all so how this competition works is all competitors are giving given the same coffee and you can brew it in whatever way you want with just water and coffee you cannot add milk sugar and all the condiments that you can think in the world you cannot add that only milk and uh, only water and coffee but you can use whatever grind size whatever ratio whatever temperature whatever you want to do all right so you it depends on you what kind of magic you want to play in that so and you get 8 minutes to do that cup and there will be judges sitting on the next table where the coffee cups like if we both are competing our coffee is brewed within 8 minutes and if it is not then you're disqualified or whoever does not make it in 8 minutes again it's disqualified so that coffee is then going go to the budget judges the coffee then um, those judges then this point towards the cup which they like so there are usually three judges so if there are two judges and if they like one cup each then there are three judges that's how the competition format is and it's a very chilled out competition format even at the world championship you know there's beer flowing there's whiskey flowing there's wine flowing there's music going on there's magic show happening and all that it's a it's a gala i mean it's like crazy like you guys have worked your asses off now just enjoy you know it's kind of that in fact even their uh, website also reads that if you guys have any complaints uh do direct it to this email but don't expect and ex- expect any reply all right so something towards that so it's like a very chilled out format now the competition starts and believe me till that time i was all chilled out first round second round whatever how many were rounds were there i was all chilled out i did not have any pressure whatsoever in fact i was kind of bantering around and having a lot of fun with the audience and it was great so first round i won and uh, all i actually wanted to see was the first round what do the judges react to and i remember this like i was looking at them from a corner of an eye like how they are uh, responding to the cup and they had a sip they had a sip and my cup they were like like you know that expression oh okay wow so that happened and i was like all right cool so all three judges pointed towards my cup and uh, the funny story is again my cup number was kya tha fourth or sixth my cup number was four and uh, the other guy's number was whatever so they said that the uh, winner is a lifted the cup and the winner is four and i'm like okay and the friend of mine who's there he's like dude you won and like, oh yeah yeah i'm four i'm four i'm four so that happened you know all the, in that excitement first round happened second round happened then there was a brewer uh, fellow competitor who with whom I had a round and he comes up before the round before we go behind the bar uh, he comes up and he says hey Mr. Lee congratulations I'm like for what he's like no no that is for me because I'm going to win I'm like come on man you can do it in a much better way this is not really so much fun so he lost to me you know bab ko ne waisa wala scene tha but uh, fuck him man. that happened and uh, yeah then comes the final round actually all this thing happened all that all day happened and all i reached the finals and till that time i was like just casual chilling out like you know i missed my beer by some other situation but the finals aa raha tha that time was a time when i was like boss ab to jeetna padega now you reached here ab to jeetna padega there is no other option like you are closer to something that you will never be able to imagine like more than the happiness i think the regret factor was would have been more first aero press champion of india man like what more do you want first first of anything in india is like great so uh, i was like okay this is something and that too okay let me rephrase it first champion of india in your passion in the field that you are passionate about all right so that is something which is not an opportunity you get every day or not everybody gets in their lifetime so that was an opportunity that was something which was crazy like your passion project your passion and who would have thought back in 2000 what no no not even 17 2014 mein who would have thought 2015 mein who would have thought ki coffee ka championship hoga when i told my mom that they were like aisa bhi hota hai you know it was like that even though my full family was deep into coffee because i used to brew the brew coffee every single day for them so i think that was very important for me to realize that anyway i realized it at a very wrong this before the fucking final round where i am standing over there and i got all nervous like i my palms got sweaty whatever that song is i don't know what it is so actually my palms got sweaty and i was like shit and i was just hanging over there and this friend of mine who has seen me in my badminton journey and all he comes to me like what the fuck is wrong with you man i'm like nothing man like it's a food so you're like you got to chill out like you got to be yourself right now and i like, yeah i think so so i remember that clearly like i was standing there and the there was like around 7 8 minutes left for my round to go and i was thinking to myself should i change the recipe should i tweak it a little bit because what if my competitor has seen it i don't know all these all these things were happening but once i was behind the bar uh, i did the same thing and i remember my coffee got brewed in 
I guess four and a half minutes, like flat out four and a half minutes, and I've always been of that thought where last moment पे कुछ नहीं हो सकता. So you don't fucking study the whole year, so you get an excuse to not study on the last day also. So you can't do anything. You just have to rely on your neighbors and partners and all these things and chit notes and all that. So you can't do anything on the last moment. So I brewed and I'm like, now it's done. Now I can't do anything. Now the funny story starts. His he was about to get disqualified because he was taking around a lot of time. So I guess 10, 15 seconds was were left, and I was like, I don't want to win off a disqualification. I don't want that, you know. So I was just hoping that his coffee gets brewed in time, and luckily he got done in like seven minutes, fifty seconds. Something happened. I don't know what happened. His coffee was there. Now, the funny story. His cup co- 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 was six, six, yeah, six, six, huh? So six. My birthday is six four eighty eight, six April. My dyslexia again kicks in like. I was like, okay, minus sixth, because my birthday is six, so my cup number is also. So the coffee goes to the judges, and the judges took like a very long time to take it, like uh, judge it. And I was like, uh, wow, that's taking a long and all that. So I was standing in the bar, I was looking and all that. So that moment comes where the judges have made up their mind, and the host is going to announce India's first Aeropress coffee champion, right? So whoever is not in coffee, for them this wouldn't be like as big. Of course, like, of course, I wouldn't be interested in the milk brewing competition. But I mean, I don't know if there's any milk brewing competition. क्या दूध निकाला उस टाइम? But for whoever is in coffee and who's brewed an Edo press or who brewed even a French press or whatever it is, they can definitely connect. And many others would also connect for sure. But so yeah, that moment of truth comes like India's first Edo press champion, and they don't take the name. They'll Get the pick the cup up and they will uh, see the cup number and will announce it. So India's first Aeropress champion is cup number four. And I was there. I'm like, oh fuck, man. Damn it. Like because I thought my cup number is six and I see my friend coming from there and he's like, yeah. I'm like, what? He's like, you won. Like, oh yes, minus four. Shit, minus four, you know. And that was the moment I was like, wait, I won, I won, I won. Wow, I won, like you know. So that was really intense, man. Like having a flag on your chest and you will be representing India at the World Aeropress Championship. I don't think so. You can script that out at all. So yeah, that was a great, great, great moment. Why are we telling the recipe for free? Huh? Okay, I, we'll get you'll yeah, get the yeah, recipe. Yeah, yeah. Huh? You, we need some donations for the Aeropress paper filters at least. You know, like. कुछ तो कर दो भाई कैसे कर रहे हो यू नो? Like look at this, we're wearing the same T-shirt every single time, same light. This is new, but recording अच्छा नहीं हमारा इसमें invest किया हमने. Imagine here. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. Anyway, let's do it. For you. So the Aeropress recipe that I was the way I was. Let me let me put it this way: the way I was approaching the coffee. So the way I was approaching this coffee, the dark roasted third crack coffee, was I knew one thing in my mind that I would not let hot water and this coffee marry each other. We need somebody in between so that a bad product is not produced. As everybody knows, hotter the water, more bitterness gets extracted. So how much more bitterness do you want out of that coffee? Even if you would have cold pressed it or cold brewed it, the coffee was going to taste bitter. So. What I did was I took 20 grams of coffee. I took chilled water. That was the whole magic. I took chilled water, 100 ml, and I added that inverted aeropress. Of course, I added that in the cold water in the coffee. So chilled water added in the coffee. Agitated just softly for four times and uh, let it sit for like good 25 30 seconds and then I introduced hot water. So what I basically did and chill water I'm talking about like eight to nine degrees Celsius approximately that chill. I'm not talking about warm or lukewarm or lukewarm. Cold. I'm talking about chilled water. So introduce chilled water in a dark roasted coffee so that the bloom, so called whatever that bloom, because it's not a bloom in a dark roasted coffee, it's a blast. So uh, you add the cold chilled water in that. Coffee powder, this is dark roast, and you'll see a little bit of sweetness coming instead of the bitterness. And then you add the hot water inside. Once you start adding hot water, 
that is the time where the sweetness and the bitterness kind of start mixing together so you've taken 20 grams of coffee you add 100 ml of chilled water stir it four times let it sit for 30 seconds add another 100 ml of 92 degree celsius water stir it eight times let it sit for another 30 seconds tilt it press it total brewing time around one and a half to two minutes that's about it that is how you approach a dark roasted coffee if you want a little bit less bolder cup and paper filter not a mesh filter that is also one thing that is very important i had an option of mesh filter but then mesh filter would have made all the particles come out in the coffee and at the same time it would be extracting even then and there was like a big boulder body and more bitterness in the coffee cup i didn't want that i was going to think i was thinking of using two paper filters but i did not because the press would have been a little bit more harder so that means a little bit more pressure so that would have extracted more i didn't want that so i just used single paper filter no mesh filter no double paper filter only single paper filter and yeah press it down so yeah that's the indian aeropress championship recipe for fucking free so we need a lot of funds we need a lot of equipments we need more dinosaurs we need more lamps we need more clothes <laughs> to start with so hit the subscribe button all right if you like this stuff uh, do share it with a lot of people that you know who will be interested in uh, uh, in espresso syrup winning recipe at the same time we'll be coming out with a lot of recipe cards and a complete entire video of the whole uh, thing which will have a great audio as well so yeah do share for sure done <laughs> Woo! Perfect. Almost